YouTube, it's your boy John again. I got something different for you guys today. I got something real different, man. Wait till you see this truck I'm about to show you guys. This is a 2019 Ford F250 that got that classic look. We had people who come by the dealership say, hey man, what year is that, a 1979 or something like that? But nah, this is brand spanking new. They, we built this truck, it's sharp, it got a lot of nice features to it. It's definitely an eye catcher. It's definitely something you want to come down to TriStar Blair and check out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and with further ado, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see this truck and go over it with you. All right, here we go. All right, so there it is. Nin 2019 F-250 regular cab, uh, six and a half foot box, as you can see there. This is brand new, okay? Not, not no used truck. A lot of people have been thinking of that, but it has the um, bug shirt across the front, as you guys can see right there. All right. There it is. All right, has them C channel headlights, which Ford done brand new in 2017 and up. You got your big heavy duty tow hooks right here, guys. Okay. And even though it's an XLT, she got that camera in the front too. That's a 360 degree camera where you guys can see from the top, from the sides, all the way around. That's why it's 360 degrees, okay? And we lifted this bad boy. Check that out. Look at that, guys. Look at the springs on this truck. This nuts, ain't it? It got that BDS suspension, Fox shocks on that bad boy. You can see that. It got the track bars at the bottom there. Look at that, all BDS stuff too. The good stuff, man. Ain't no garbage, all right? Look real good. Uh-huh. See that? All right. Got some monster tires on it. Got some Toyo MTs on there. There's a 37s on that joint. See that? Open countries. Let's go around that bad boy. Brand new set of American racing wheels. Kind of the nugget look they call that, you know what I mean? Why they call it a nugget, but that's what they call it, you know, as far as that goes. It's an XLT package, okay? And of course, bodies by haulers by TriStar, as you can see right there. See right there, says body by TriStar, TriStar hauler, all right? Look on those mirrors right there, man. You got the turn swing indicators right here, which is nice. And I believe these are photo ways too, as you can see right there. They go both ways. They're breakaways, so they're not gonna break off. Just show you guys. See that folds off both ways there. And keep in mind, I did say that this has a 360 degree camera. So once again, there's those two cameras under there that help you, help you see um, under there as well, okay? Like I said, it's all the way around. <clears throat> it got Nerf bars on the side here. Like I said, it's a regular cab. And uh, actually, you know what? Uh, that's an eight foot box, I'm sorry. Actually, 8.3, be real with y'all. It's an 8.3 box, as far as that goes. And the back here, so you guys can see there, got your fox shocks in the back as well all right sits on leaf springs as well and the biggest thing i like about this truck man I like that classic look okay just so you guys know you got the uh the race red which you can see right there with the uh with the bright white okay you also added this uh this off-road top light bar you can see right there which is really cool okay from the factory you also get the called a security keypad right here see that that's the key patch you guys want to see. Open up this truck, you guys. Just give me a minute. Let me turn this music down some. Turn that music down. You can't even hear what I'm saying. Sorry about that, people. And keep in mind, these mirrors are also telescoping, so I'm going to keep the camera still. And you guys can see it come in. There they are. See, they're coming in right now. That's your mirrors. And their power photo way, too. See? Another nice feature. So this truck has some upgraded features compared to a normal XLT, if you want to say. Um, it also has the spotter mirror you guys can see right there when you hit this button here or this button It's a spotter mirror. That's gonna allow you if you had a, you know, you got a flat tire or something like that You'd be able to actually uh, change that spare and it lights up the whole front of that truck and keeps you safe on the highway Which I think is very important uh, In that type of situation nobody want to be out in the road You know late at night and get a flat and can't see where about somebody hitting you or something like that or not seeing you at all with those spotter lights, man, I'm telling you, their LED light up the whole front of that truck for you. It's very, very helpful. All right, look on that turn signal right there, as far as that goes. Also, your mirror, your mirrors, as you can see there, and this your headlight right there. You got auto as well. These two buttons right here with the plus and this one here. This one here and this one here is to adjust your actual uh, uh, dimming, as far as that goes. And then this will be your cargo light right here, as far as that's concerned. All right, it does have the manual lumbar, too, for your back. I'm going to see if you guys see that when I'm going ahead and pump that bladder up there and take it out i don't know if you guys can see that or not youtube but that's what that has as far as that goes and then on your steering wheel you notice you got you know cruise control and all that happy stuff you got your volume control on the steering wheel it does have uh sync which is sync 3 all brand new 
Uh, been out since 2016, started with the Ford Explorer 16 Limited, so to speak. Now it's on pretty much every model. Uh, your sync system is your Bluetooth command infotainment system, uh, <clears throat> all that happy stuff. And YouTube, if you look up there, you see right there, you got some upfitter switches, which is really nice. And I'm going to pre-wire ready to go too, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to flip this seat up right here. You do have some space in the back. Can you see that, YouTube? All right, there it is, YouTube. You got space in the back too. Okay, nice space in the back there if you want to put some tools back there. And also you have your tool extensions and stuff back there too. If you ever got a flat tire, that's what you guys are looking at right there. That is for a flat tire, as far as that goes. All right. All right, go ahead and shut that door there so you can guys see there. Um, keep in mind, it's a 6.2 gas. So when you got a 6.2 gas, you guys need to understand that this is E85 ethanol and regular 87 unleaded fuel. So you can run both fuels in there. Now, important note to you guys want to remember when you operate in ethanol in these trucks, even though they're flex fuel and ready to go, you only want to run two gallons, three gallons, maybe four tops. So this fuel system get adjusted to it. And then once you've done that, then you go ahead and run a full tank of that fuel. Of course, we got the factory Ford mud flaps we added to the truck. Notice also it's capped off on the back bed here on the bottom here, which is nice. So you have to worry about uh, chip guard and road rash and things that tearing up the bottoms. You got the big amber tail lights with the clear one right there as far as that goes for your turn signals. And when I'm gonna step back here, YouTube, so you can see this truck in the back. Look at it, ain't that sharp, man? You got Super Duty written across there, which is kind of a chrome clear glossy, which is nice. And then as I come close to it, you're gonna notice right here, you also have the camera right here for the touchscreen. And it looks like if you, that's also center right there. So I think it has the power tailgate assist too, which is nice. You got your four and seven pin right here. All right, seven pin, four pin. All right, as far as that goes. And your tow package. And I think that has a sleeve too, which is nice. All right. And YouTube, you notice it has a factory spray and bed liner. I'm just going to step up here real quick. Ugh. See that YouTube? You got your factory bed liner. There it is. It's not fifth wheel prep, just so you guys know. And this thing that you guys are looking at right here that I got my hands on, this is a bed extender that you flip out and gives you more space. And keep in mind also, you see that light right there? And you can see that button. This button right here will give you access to turn on those uh, LED, bed, LED bed lights, as far as that's concerned. All right, then you notice you've got the stickers on that bad boy. As far as that goes, I'm going to zoom in, which is BDS suspension, okay? You see those lights up top here. See up on the roof, got roof clearance lights and all that crazy stuff on there, uh, as far as that goes, YouTube. All right, so I step down there. I'm going to take a, take a look back there, YouTube, so you can see it more in general. I'm just going to step back on it so you can see the whole truck itself. I'm just gonna take a walk around real quick so you guys can see it. Then we'll talk about some more about some other stuff on the truck itself. All right. Now here, the important things you gotta understand. This is a brand new truck, so there's a description right here. It has the four-inch front box kit. It says there uh, you have the to, the uh, the block kit for as two-leaf mains. It does have the four-inch uh, coil kit. It has the radius arm kit on it as well. And then of course, like I said, you're operating Fox shocks where 2.0s. As uh, far as that goes, that front and rear does have the uh, heavy-duty um, stabilizer mount kit. And, uh, of course, like I said, you also, that's Diller, look like discount on there, and installation and labor. Your new wheels, which are um, American Racing Outlaw rims, sitting on Toyo tires, like I told you before. <clears throat> God dang, excuse me, bugs is in my face. Uh, we had running boards, rain guards, bug shield, and super-duty uh, train lettering. So now if you wanted to buy this truck, he says 55899 Got a thousand dollar rebate. Looks like you also, if you're commercial, uh, you have to prove the business or something like that. If you have a business, looks like you have a $500 discount on that part there as well. And you're looking at 54,399 plus tax and tags. Had a 5.9 rate, 10 G's down. You're sitting at 699 a month. And this is a project high boy, high boy package, we call that. Okay, far as that goes. So I'm just gonna go around and so you can check this bad boy out. Here it is, YouTube. So all you guys out there like trucks lifted, you like that old 78, 79 classic look? This is your truck. Come on down to TriStar. Come see John Croft and, and the uh, Chrysler showroom. I'm in the city hall office, all right? So there it is, guys. I'm going to show you some things inside, too, so you can see that, all right? So we get inside this big old, big old bad boy. Just want to show you guys. It's brand new. I'm going to zoom in on the miles. 138.1 miles. It's brand new. I'm gonna shut this door, okay? Whoops, sorry about that YouTube thing, I was blocking stuff. I shut the door there so now we can see that on your shifter, you got your tow haul mode, which is nice. 
Okay, here's your four-wheel drive system, YouTube. Let me go ahead and show you that right there. You got two high, four low, four, four high, four low, as far as that goes. And then this right here that I says pull, if I pull that, you'll notice on the dash now, if I'm gonna zoom in, see that right there? It looks like little four wheels turn. That's electronic lock and rear axle. That locks both wheels in place. There's a mechanism inside the differential that allows you to lock both of the wheels in, okay? Just wanna show you guys that real quick. And then you've got your gauges, you got your oil, coolant temp, fuel, coolant temperature, all that happy stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pause this camera for a minute, just like this. I'm gonna go through this screen so you guys can see, and I'm gonna open it up a little bit so you can see as well. Just bear with me. All right, I'm gonna to go to the mode part. You got a digital speedometer. There's your hours and engine. Transmission temperature shows your distance to empty is 272 miles. Notice also in the right hand corner, you got a compass. So you ain't got nav, you still know you're going, you know. You ain't gonna get lost. Tire pressure monitor, keep in mind on the door also tells you your tire pressure table that these tires should be holding. So check that to be make sure you're right. Um, and then if I go back down to fuel and trip, you got all current, average, you know, all that. Trip timer, the whole nine yards. So that's a nice feature. Towing mode, if you hit that, you got trailer status. You got trailer, oh, it actually has the trailer tow pressure. So that's nice when you hook that up. Um, once you do hook that up, it's gonna actually monitor all your tires on your trailer, which is really nice, guys. Okay, and then you have your trailer options. That means you can put in select a trailer, you know, you can change your settings and add a trailer for as echo, which is nice. And then you have a connection checklist, which I think is really cool. And what I mean by a ch connect, uh, uh, connection checklist, that's for conventional fifth wheel and gooseneck. In this case, this ain't fifth wheel prep, you can still pull conventional with this truck. So when you hit the OK button, it shows that your ball coupler is connected and locked. It shows that your electrical wiring's connected. So no guesswork if your dad going four pin and seven pins working as far as when you're hauling, which is really nice. Shows that your lights is working, so you ain't gonna get pulled about a pull pot up, pull a popo, trying to give you a ticket because your lights ain't working in the back, and that's very, very vital, you know. Ch safety chains is connected, ain't dragging down the street, causing sparks all over the place and what have you not. And you got your tongue jack um, raised, which is nice. So that's a very nice feature. And it shows that your mirrors are adjusted. So that's a pretty nice feature. And then that, um, with the uh, electronic brake controller settings, you can set your gain right here, as you can see there, as um, far as that goes, okay? And then it shows if trailer's disconnected. Now, if I go back, um, you got off-road status, which is nice. It shows off-road here, um, shows you where your angle is and your, your pitch and roll, all that stuff. That's really nice to have. And then you got other settings, which you go to advanced settings, so you guys know. It shows vehicle, which is your lights. If you hit those, you'll see that it shows daytime lights, as far as that goes. Um, it also shows your locks, as far as that goes. You can have un auto unlock, remote unlock, all that happy stuff. Even oil reset, once you get your oil changed, the mechanic forgets to reset it. You can set it yourself, and right there it is. So if you hit the button, there it is. It's 100%, so you're good there. So you ain't worried about messing around with your oil. Alarm and remote start mode. As far as remote start, it says climate control, duration, and system as far as that goes, all right? So very nice features as far as that goes. Now, one thing you do have here, YouTube, I'm going to zoom in again if you don't mind with me, and that is the uh, the My Key feature. Like, I'm going to try to keep this steady. The My Key feature is a restriction setup. It has been on Ford vehicles for a long time, if you want to say for that matter. And the My Key feature actually put restriction on speed. So if you guys want to actually set the speed for... Um, you want to say 60 mile an hour, 70. You have to have both keys present when you set up the my key. Um, and if somebody try to hit the gas, it ain't gonna go any faster than that. It was more designed for younger teens and stuff like that or driving their parents' vehicles and Ford set that up. Like the moms, we thinking more or less, you know what I mean? So a lot of moms had a lot to do with that, you want to say, uh, from Ford Motor Company that worked for Ford uh, when the my key feature comes out. It also puts a sound restriction on it so you can set the sound. You could be blasting out the radio so they can't who's behind them or being distracted with the friends in the car and all that crazy stuff, you know. And also it uh, has a fuel reminder, seatbelt reminder for the driver and the passenger. Okay, far as that goes. All right, so if I go back here, you also have advanced settings. We talked about that. And I think that's it as far as the settings itself. Now, mainly, a lot of people like to keep it on the digital speedometer, which is nice, okay? Now, like, again, like I said, you look down here. Let um, go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can see that. There's an electronic brake controller I talked about to gain and to subtract. Look at this screen right here. Like I said, this is the U This is the uh, Sync 3 screen. So you see you got your radio, your music, all that happy stuff, audio, phone, apps, all that. You know, you can hit settings right here. You see everything, sound, clock, Bluetooth, all that. Swipe right to left. There you got Wi-Fi if you want, vehicle, display, all that happy stuff. All right. And the nice thing right here, I talked about that camera. So let me zoom in on that camera, YouTube. 
this camera right here when i hit it all right now you guys can see what i was talking about before that is your 360 degree camera so you can see the top of the truck and the way around the truck i hit it again wait hold on i hit it again which is right here now you can see it showing a front view of the truck believe it or not because you have a front facing camera and a back camera and two cameras under the mirror all right so that's that youtube other than that you got your cruise control here you got your hazard button right there as far as that goes now notice when i changed that camera i got a front view like that you can see inside the bed which is really nice okay if you were pulling fifth wheel and also an auxiliary camera which i don't know what that is it says check your surroundings whatever world that is you know what i'm saying and far as that goes and then i also saw a uh 360 degree camera far as that goes and that's that youtube all right other than that you got some uh cd player on here no cd player gone i'll be doggone so no more cd player but you got controls right there for media right on that carrying on you got your uh air condition settings and all that stuff heat and all that noise you know two cup holders here little storage pocket right there all that good stuff you know flip this bad boy up okay you got another seat and keep in mind i think yeah that's what i thought see that right there youtube you got even a storage which is nice right there and what you do with that bad boy um try to hold my phone here and try to show you guys this real quick flip it out turn this around like that and there it is guys now you got your cup holders in the front you put your seat back down you got a six passenger seating um other than that you know you can fit three people in this truck if you want to you got a glove box that locks out right here it has all your books and stuff in here you know it's a double stack you know got your books right there you know here they are that's all your brand new books from the manufacturer got your quick reference guide and all that stuff in there you know the, the code for the door and then of course you can also turn off you know you got moms driving this truck you know or whoever you know they can turn that airbag off right there if they got a child in the front seat with a front, front facing child seat for as that goes and then to keep in mind it also locks too so which is nice so like get this stag on thing back in there there we go youtube flip this up right here little storage pocket area and lock that off all right and of course like i said you got your uh that's your speakers right there for your microphone both of these right here upfitter switches like i mentioned are pre-wired uh far as that goes youtube all right um and i think that's about it as far as that goes you know we talked about a lot of different things on here um go ahead and hit that subscribe button um to my channel the channel once again is the true on mopars the mopars that's me um i see a lot of guys like tall guys out there um life of uh mozzie uh all you guys also life um hemi life hemi life for, what is it? hemi life 44 uh, all you guys are representing out there um go ahead and look at my channel see what you guys think you know i think on pretty nice thing pretty descriptive far as that goes but uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button far as that goes right now hit that subscribe button at the bottom for me um let me know what you guys think you know leave your comments at the bottom um i'm just interested to see what you guys think you know i'll continue doing videos and hit that note hit that bell so you'll get notified when i'm doing posting videos um and i think that's gonna be it for now youtube you guys have a great day i'll see you later